Hey, buddy, Chief Meteorologist Brad Pitovich here. Here's a quick update on the windy weather heading our way on Saturday. As tonight, we watch just unbelievable reports of damage and tornadoes in the middle of the country. Um, we'll talk about that briefly here because it is an ongoing issue. There's still significant tornado warnings in the Memphis area, Paducah area, central Illinois, um, southern Illinois, and even in the Chicago, Milwaukee area as this big storm system moves across the country. Now, I should emphasize this that even though this is the same storm heading our way tomorrow, we are not going to see the same type of severe weather setup um, because of a couple different things. The instability is lower, the energy splitting, but what really is gonna be the big story for us is going to be the wind. Here's the, the current severe weather outlook. You can still see we've got this uh, extreme risk down here. There are still a lot of supercells and up here in the Ohio Valley, pretty potent. And then late tonight, this will be approaching the North Carolina mountains. It'll be weakening as it moves east. It could re-intensify a little bit, but you see the overall risk in our area is low. And that's low for severe weather, not for wind. This is a unique system which is producing a lot of wind. Now you look at this right now, this is going into tonight. You see the thunderstorms that catches your eye, but what you can't see, and you, I kind of plotted it here, there is a lot of wind back here. There's blowing dust and back behind the front, we're getting reports of 60, 70 mile an hour winds across the plains which is crazy to think behind the front. And that's kind of what I expect to happen tomorrow. This front's gonna move through in the morning. It's gonna stop raining. And then as we go into the afternoon and evening, these winds on the back side wrapping around the low pressure will be super intense. So it'll be sunny conditions with strong, strong winds. For that reason, you could see the advisories and warnings which are currently in effect. That does include a high wind warning for the mountains and foothills, sustained winds 20 to 35 there, gusts to 65, Piedmont 15 to 25 sustained, but gusts could approach uh, even 50 miles per hour. So let's show you the rainfall part first. So this is a two part system. So we'll start at midnight tonight. Actually, I'm gonna back this up just so you can see the whole frame. We'll go into tonight, the southerly winds slowly pick up, starts to get a little breezy. By the time sunrise comes around, it's getting pretty windy, south winds, but no rain yet. So 5 a.m., the winds are blowing. Um, we've got storms rolling into the mountains, weakening as they do so. Um, we go just after sunrise, that line of storms crosses the mountain, starts pushing east. By nine o'clock in the morning, yeah, probably gonna be some storms ongoing here. Could even see a couple warnings, likely for damaging straight line winds. We'll go to about 10 o'clock and you can see the front start making it down into the Piedmont. And then by about noon, let's stop it right here, the front starts to push east and it clears and the sun starts to come out. So by three o'clock in the afternoon, it's sunny, but this is the strongest winds of the day coming out of the southwest and the west. So really windy here at three o'clock, even though all the storms are off to the east. That's kind of the setup for tomorrow. And to kind of show you what the wind speeds look like, I'll, I'll show you what that means. So here we are, 1 a.m., winds are picking up. And again, these are wind gusts. We go into the overnight hours tomorrow morning, 11 a.m. Okay, this is about the time that front is moving through. So yeah, some pretty strong winds in here. Front clears by about 1, a, uh, 1 p.m., right? Okay, we go into the afternoon, 2, 3 o'clock. Look at the winds start to really ramp up coming out of the mountains, some 50, 60 mile an hour winds there. Across the Piedmont, 30 to 40. There's gonna definitely be some really strong winds wrapping around the system. They last into the evening and then overnight into S Sunday morning, they start to weaken in all places except for the mountains. It'll still be howling up in the mountains on Sunday morning, but here in the Piedmont, things will really, really begin to calm down. So here's a timeline. I always like to show this <laughs> graphic for severe weather. In this case, I'm gonna show it for um, the windy weather to kind of illustrate what's happening here. So 6 a.m. Saturday morning, you know, we've got rain, some wind, the rain, storm chance, basically till noontime here. You see the best rain chances will probably be in here somewhere, as well as here, rain and, and storm chances. Power outage risk is going to stay elevated just because of the winds, but look at the winds actually start to get higher in the afternoon. This part right in here in particular is when there is no storms and no rain. So just the word of caution, there could be some really strong winds um, after that front pushes through the area. And can that's kind of the setup for Saturday. So not a ton of rain, not a ton of storms. Could one or two be severe? Absolutely. That is certainly a possibility, but the winds will be gusty all day. Is it gonna be damaging winds all day? No, but again, the stuff I'm worried about isn't so much a ton of trees or your house, unless a tree comes on the house, 
it's more the temporary stuff. If you've got outdoor activities with bouncy houses, trampolines, lawn furniture, um, you know, tents, event tents, those type of things, they don't like 30 mile an hour winds and above. So those are the things that are temporary structures that aren't normally up in your yard. Flags, you know, other things that you would put up, those things will be blowing around, trash cans, bags, anything that's loose. Those are the things we're worried about tomorrow. It's Saturday, a lot of outdoor activities. So that's why it's a day to stay weather aware because of those winds impacting. Heck, if you got a baseball game tomorrow and it's not raining, you're gonna have dust blowing all over the place and into your eyes. So if I'm a, if I'm a player or a fan, I'm bringing something to keep the dust out of my eyes or at least have something to clean up because it's going to be like a sandstorm on some of those fields during games tomorrow. So have a great night. I will post updates tomorrow morning. Stay weather aware and have a great weekend.